Hi, and welcome back to This Homestead Life. I'm Jenny, and today I'm going to share with you some ideas for building your morning basket. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So I got my basket at Target. So if you like the way this looks, go check it out. Um, yeah, and it holds a lot of books. I like how it's nice and tall, so it'll hold a lot of, you know, varying size books. So, and it needs to be fairly deep um, because, you know, it's, it's quite a few things you might end up putting in your morning bath. So I try to keep it fairly simple, um, which is why we're doing Simply Charlotte Mason. <laughs> I guess in my mind, it feels like Simply Charlotte Mason's got to make it really simple, right? So I like for things to be very, very simple. And I love that the um, curriculum comes with this book. Um, called Enrichment Studies. It basically, now this this is optional. Um, you don't have to get this book, but I like this book because it tells you exactly what you're going to do every day. Um, spaces things out so that you're not, um, you're not doing the same things every day, okay? So look at your week here with this book. They've already got a loop schedule going so that you know exactly what you're supposed to do every day and it's gonna keep it new and exciting and fresh for you and your kids so you don't get bored. So I really, really like that. Um, so, so you have that kind of like little overview and then lessons. So your lessons are your days. So on our first day of homeschool, we started with lesson one and it told me exactly which enrichment studies we were gonna be doing that day and um, just a little bit more information so that I could prepare. So I really like this book and I really appreciate that they went ahead and did that hard work for me because I don't want to have that another thing on my plate to have to think of all the things that are supposed to go in my morning basket and figure out which days of the week I should do them. Um, some people probably really enjoy doing that. I just don't. <laughs> so I like someone telling telling me exactly what we need to do. It just makes it nice. Anyway, this is a very, very handy book. Okay, so after our Bible time every day, um, so after we read a portion of the Bible every morning, um, and that also will be, well, that's part of your history, geography, and Bible from the Simply Charlotte Mason. It tells you exactly what scripture to read every day. But after we finish that, um, I have this devotion um, in our morning basket and I read one little devotion every day. So this is How Great Is Our God by Louis Giglio. And it's 100 in indescribable devotions about God and science. So, this really caught my eye. I think I actually learned about this from another homeschool mom in another YouTube video. And the lessons are really short, uh, the devotions. Um, it's kind of like a devotion and a science lesson all in one. But um, they're very short um, and concise and interesting. They're really interesting. We're only on day three of homeschool, but um, today we got to learn about um, a cat's purr and that they don't even, like scientists haven't even quite figured out why cats purr or what makes them purr. Um, it's really interesting. So I really like this little book and um, I think they do have a volume too. So once we're done with the 100 um, devotions, we can move on to the next, the next volume. Okay, um, now this is something that I put in myself as well as the devotional. This is another thing I put in myself. <laughs> so this is Read Aloud uh, Book of Bible Stories. This book has a lot of the cool Bible stories just told in a just a really beautiful way. But I, I thought it was really it would be really nice to kind of sum up um, everything that we just read. The first story is the beautiful world. Um, the next story is Noah and the Rainbow of Hope. So I plan to read these stories as we finish them in our Bible, just to kind of, just like I said, just a nice like summary and just nice visualization for um, the kids to have about what we just read in the Bible. So I like that a lot. Okay, now this is a Charlotte Mason book, Laying Down the Rails. Now this is a habit training 
guide and so it walks you through a lot of the habits that are just very important to kind of go over with your kids two days a week they have this built into the um into the curriculum so two days a week where i get to choose any habit i want from this book and we just do a little overview about you know on monday i think it was the importance of being clean and washing your hands and you know it's okay to go outside and get dirty and muddy and sweaty but when you come inside you need to wash your hands and clean your face and probably take a shower too if you got that that dirty <laughs> so just you know just little things that are so important but can easily get missed in taking the time to talk about with our kids because life can get busy and crazy and they don't always know these things. Um, the one that we touched on today was courtesy. So this is a great book. I think um, this is going to be very, very good for our homeschool this year. Okay, uh, the next study we have is hymn study. So this is singing the great hymns. Again, this is a Simply Charlotte Mason curriculum piece and um, now it comes with music tracks okay but uh, what I've done decided to do um, it also has the music you know the, it has the songs and all the words but um, what I what I'm doing is I'm using this but then I'm also going and finding this beautiful rendition um, this lady just playing the guitar singing the song and we were able to sing along with her She was singing like in a nice tune. It wasn't too high wasn't too low. It was just it was really nice. So um, That was a little something extra that I did um, And the kids really liked it. So yeah, just learning hymns, you know um, That was something that was important to me because I feel like that's just, it's a lost thing. A lot of people don't, don't know the hymns anymore. At least our kids don't. Um, so okay, another thing we have is poetry. So I chose poetry to go in our basket for this year. This is from Simply Charlotte Mason. So we are going to study Robert Louis Stevenson this year. Um, the curriculum recommends that you choose one poet a year to study. So we chose Robert Louis Stevenson. And then in here, I already have printed out our poem that we're gonna memorize. Now we haven't started memorizing it just yet, but I've already got it ready and I've got three copies for each of my kids once we start memorizing that. So I think the poetry is two days a week. They have that built in. So we got two days a week. And okay, so the next thing I kind of added in myself, but it is totally a Charlotte Mason thing. Um, is learning some folk songs. So uh, this month we are learning the Crawl Dad song. <laughs> so that's really fun. A lot of these folk songs are just really fun. They have a lot of, um, you know, roots dating back to like one of the ones we're gonna learn next month, I think dates back to the 1500s. So these are just really fun songs. And this one has a really fun tune. I'm actually trying to learn it on the guitar um, so that I can play while the kids sing. But yeah, that's gonna take a little more practice. <laughs> So folk songs are in our morning basket and we're just, we're going to sing this song every day until we memorize the words. So, um, okay. Next picture study. So this is choosing an artist and again, it's simply Charlotte Mason. And, um, so they recommend you pick three artists for the, the year and we chose Rembrandt for our first 12 weeks of study. So we're going to be studying all about his life and then his artwork. So these packets are really, really helpful. They come with a book all about the artist, okay, and then all of the paintings and pictures on really nice quality paper. Um, so yeah really nice. So I'm really, really excited to have these as well. And okay. okay, the next thing that I have for a morning basket, which actually is not in our basket, actually sits on our bookcase next to our CD player, is um, our music study with the master. So th these are classical musicians and 
These are also from Simply Charlotte Mason. So just like we studied the artists, we're gonna be studying three different composers this year and all about their life. Um, and it comes with the CDs of their music. So we'll be listening to a lot of their pieces and then also just learning the backstory about them and you know what was their life like, at what point in history did they live, um, what inspired them. Um, so yeah, so that's gonna be really cool to learn. And then the only other thing I have right now is our scripture memory. So we have not started on this just yet, but I like how this, um, now this is the, I think the pack one from Simply Charlotte Mason. So it comes with a lot of different scripture memory cards. So right now I need to just kind of figure out what that's gonna look like. Like, am I gonna give each kid a different verse? to memorize, are we gonna do it on a weekly basis, a monthly basis, um, or are we just all gonna learn the same verse? I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that, but I have these cards whenever we're ready to tackle that. So that is very handy as well. I know that um, on their website, the Simply Charlotte Mason website, they have a beautiful handmade box that is supposed to store these um, these scripture memory cards, but they're all sold out right now. So I'm gonna keep looking back because I would love to get one of those. It just looks very nice quality and um, just a special place to keep the cards right now. They're just kind of in this wooden box with my music study. So, so that's pretty much it. That Those are all of the things in our morning basket. And um, I feel like it's a very, well-rounded amount. Just a little side note, um, I actually had to take a break from this video to go make my kids some lunch and the cat is still literally in the same spot. Like I've literally. So yeah, so this is pretty much it. This is, this is our morning basket. So I hope that you found uh, these ideas helpful. I hope that this helps you to kind of mentally prepare um, what a morning basket will look like and how you want to put yours together. Um, you know, I think it's, it's really an exciting thing as a homeschool parent to be able to make all of these choices for our kids and we get to decide what they learn for the year and I just, I think that's so cool. Thanks so much for watching and if you find this kind of content interesting, if um, you find value in this type of content, I would love if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I try to put out at least one new video every week, um, everything from life here on the homestead, to uh, baking, recipes, um, homeschool, obviously, lots of different kinds of things. I would love your support. So thanks again for watching.